light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hell Silver, the Lone Ranger. faithful Indian companion Tonto, the masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness have come down to us through the generations, and nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear, from out of the past and the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Hurry, big fellow. I'll Silver. Away. Along the dusty trail leading to Marston City, Ned Gillis and his foreman Slim were driving in to meet the afternoon stage on which Mary Fleming, Ned's cousin from the east, was due to arrive. Oh, it ain't right, Ned. The old man leaving most of the bar wide to that girl cousin of yours. Well, Uncle Jed always favored her more than he did me. He was always talking about the nice letters she sent from the east. She wrote them with a purpose, all right. Now the little sneak's coming to claim her share of the bar wide ranch. The biggest part of it. Maybe your uncle suspected you was cutting in on that cattle money, Ned. Yeah, he was getting suspicious of everything I did. You know, if it wasn't for that girl, you'd own the bar Y, lock, stock, and barrel. Yeah, I've thought of that. I've worked too hard to have to turn the biggest part of the bar Y spread over to her. Come on, get up there. Got any uh, ideas? Uh, nothing definite. I've been thinking that things can happen out here in this country to a person who isn't used to it. Something could happen even to Mary Fleming. Uh, accidental, of course, if you get what I mean. <laughs> yeah, sure, I get what you mean. She has an accident, and all of a sudden, you're the owner of the Bar Y Ranch. <laughs> Come on, get up there. Enjoyed having breakfast with you, Mary. It's a new experience having a girl at the Bar Y Ranch. Yeah, sure is. Mighty nice of you to have me sit down with you, Miss Mary. Oh, I've enjoyed it too. I'm new at this, you know. Both you and Ned will have to help me become accustomed to ranch life. I haven't been here since I was a little girl. Uh-huh. Well, come on, Slim. We have work to do this morning. Yep, the boys is already going to round up them cattle. We better get started. A roundup? Yeah, yeah. We're getting cattle together to drive them over to Marston City. They're over in the valley near Cragstone Pass. Oh, let me go with you. I'd love to watch. No, I don't think you'd better go along this time, Miss Mary. Yeah, I guess Slim's right, Mary. Maybe. Maybe what, Ned? Well, on second thought, there's no reason why you can't come along. But, Ned, we... She's coming with us, Slim. Go out and get the horses. We'll meet you out front. 
This is as good a time as any for Mary to begin to learn how things are done on the Bar Y Ranch. Bar Y. Yes, and Bar Y is the biggest spread in these parts. Now, that's Craigstone Pass, just beyond that creek. But I don't see any cattle. Now, they're up the valley a bit. The boys are driving them down. Oh, I see. Now, when we get down into the pass, Mary, you can wait there. Slim and I'll ride on up and see how the boys are coming along, and then we'll come back here and join you. Then you can go along with us to Marston City. You mean you're leaving Miss Mary to wait down here in the pass? That's right. But them cattle might... Let me do the worrying, Slim. Is it safe for me to wait in the pass now? <laughs> of course it's safe, Mary. Slim and I'll ride up the side trail a bit to see how things are coming along. We'll be back here before the cattle reach the pass. Oh, here's the place. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, God. God. oh. There, the cattle are just around the bend up that valley. If you listen, maybe you can hear the boys driving them down. Oh, I do hear them. Yeah, that's them all right. Yeah, wait here, Mary. We'll be right back. Come on, Slim. Up, boy. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, easy. Easy, Did boy. Easy. easy now. Hey, Ned, I ain't for leaving that girl in the past like that. Supposing them cattle, well, got rambunctious. Suppose they do. Maybe my dear cousin Mary couldn't get out of the way. And uh, maybe there'd be an accident. Do you really mean something might happen? Sure, why not? No use waiting until she gets on to things. Right now, she's dumb enough to sit right there in the pass and wait for us. Ned, what are you hoping will happen? I'm not hoping. We're going to make it happen. Going to make it happen? You and I are going to stampede those cattle. Well, if them cattle are stampeded now, that, that girl won't have a chance. She'll be trampled to death or swept on into the creek for, for certain. Exactly. Oh, now, look here, Ned. I don't know as I want to take part in this. Oh, boy, whoa, there. Whoa, fellow, whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy. What are you stopping here for? So you're getting yellow, huh? Trying to back out on me, is that it? Oh, it ain't that, Ned. But that girl's young and pretty. And killing her off like that sort of... Well, I don't know. You sneaking coward. You're going to do as I tell you. All right, all right. No need to fly off the handle. Yeah. I thought you'd see it my way. Now, here's what we're going to do. When the boys move down past this point, you ride to the other side around back of the herd. I'll stay on this side. Now, don't let any of the boys see you. I don't want them to know we're here. What do I do when I get over there? Well, wait till you hear me shooting toward the herd. And then start shooting from over there. Fire a few shots and then get out quick. Head back to the ranch. Uh-huh. Well, get going. Don't just sit there. I'm going, I'm going. Get up, Helen. Get up. She's going to run the Bar Y Ranch like Uncle Jed would like to have it run, huh? <laughs> well, we'll see about that, Mary Fleming. Here and now. We'll soon be at Mustang Max, place, Toto. It'll be good to see her again. <laughs> and she'd be glad to see Ranger. It's long time we lay in. Those shots are up the valley. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, Kimasabi. What do you hear, Tonto? Thunder, a many hoof. I hear it coming down the valley. Kimasabi, look. I'm feeding cattle. I see them now. Huh? Me mean over there. Someone on horse and path are heard. A girl. She hasn't a chance unless I... Tonto, uh -huh. ride back up the trail. Find out about that shooting if you can. But you, Kimasabi. I'm going to save that girl. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout.
carrying Mary Fleming to safety, the Lone Ranger reined up his horse. A few minutes later, he saw Tonto riding toward them. Leaving the girl on silver, the masked man dismounted and walked a short way up the trail to meet his Indian friend. What did you find out, Tonto? Two men, not follow herd. They leave Valley, ride past on trail to Bar Y Ranch. I remember the Bar Y. It used to belong to a man named Jed Fleming. Uh, did you get a good look at the two men? Uh, one have red hair, ride Pinto. Other big man, dark hair, ride black mare. I see. Big man, who's this? Hmm. An odd-looking spur. Straps broken. I'll keep this. I really must get back to my ranch. I'll take you to your ranch, Miss... Uh... I'm Mary Fleming from the Bar Y. The Bar Y? Yes. You seem surprised. I didn't know Jed Fleming had a daughter. Jed Fleming was my uncle. He died recently and left the ranch to me and my cousin Ned. I came from the east yesterday. Oh, I see. Well, uh, this cousin you speak about, what does he look like? Oh, he's rather a big man. Dark hair. Was he riding a black mare today? Well, oh, yes. He and Slim, the ranch foreman, were to meet me in the path. Ned told me to wait there while they rode up to speak to the boys who were driving the herd. The foreman, Slim, does he have red hair and ride a pinto? Yes. How'd you know? Well, that doesn't matter right now. You say your cousin told you to wait in the pass, in the path of those cattle? Oh, Ned had no way of knowing they'd stampede. I must be getting home. Ned will be worried about that terrible accident. You're not going back to the ranch right now. Not going back? Well, what do you mean? That stampede was not an accident. It was planned deliberately. Later that day, Slim rode up to the ranch house of the Bar Y, where Ned Gillis was waiting. Slim had gone back to Cragstone Pass to find out just what had happened. On the way back to the ranch, he'd done considerable thinking and had come to a decision. That took you long enough. What'd you find out? Well, the boys got him under control and headed him for Marston City. You lost a few head in that stampede, Ned. Well, I'm not worried about that. What'd you find out about, about my cousin? Found the bronc she was riding. Trampled to death. The girl? Well, she must have been carried plumb on into the creek. No sign of her nowhere. Well, she's dead, all right. <laughs> you know what that means, don't you, Slim? Sure, I know. You own the whole spread now. Yeah. Too bad poor Mary had to have that accident. Really too bad. There's no way to kill off a woman. Feeling squeamish, huh? Hereafter, don't use the word kill in connection with what happened. Accident is a word. I don't forget that. You and me's got to have an understanding about that, Ned. What do you mean? Don't forget you're in this as deep as I am. Yep, that's just it. And I've been thinking I ought to be getting my share. Why, well, you... Uh, I... no, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Ned. Get to I... your feet, you double-crossing rat. Now, no, put up that gun, Ned. I, I didn't mean no harm. Get your hands up. Come here. I'll just take your gun. What, what, what are you aiming to do? I decided before you came in that you knew too much. Now I'm going to make sure you can't do any talk. No, now wait, Ned. Wait. You you can't get away oh, with this. Can I? When the boys come back, I'll tell them I got you in here stealing cattle money. They'll believe me, all right. I'll also tell them I shot you in self defense. But I'm your friend, Ned. You just can't shoot down a friend in cold blood. We'll see about that right now. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. Following the orders given him by the Lone Ranger, Tonto went to the Bar Y Ranch to keep watch. The masked man took Mary Fleming to Mustang Mag's place, and leaving her in Mag's care, he mounted Silver and rode away after saying that he would return shortly. While waiting for his return, Mary and Mag were talking. Well, you're sure a lucky girl to have the Lone Ranger looking out for you. Oh, I do appreciate it. 
give most anything to see his face. He's so tall. Ah, uh, don't go taking no fancies with a masked man, Mary. Won't do you no good. <laughs> oh, Maggie, you, you embarrass me. I, I had no such idea. Good. Then you don't stand to be disappointed. I, somebody's coming. Well, that must be him now. Has Tuttle come back yet? Oh, I ain't seen hardly hair of him. Oh, maybe something's happened to him. Oh, that's one engine knows how to get around. Don't worry, he'll be showing up. Don't go fretting yourself. Yes, Tonto can take care of himself. Uh, how long do I have to stay here? Oh, not much longer, I hope. We'll take you to the ranch as soon as it's safe for you to go. Well, uh, my way of thinking it won't be safe till that pesky cousin of yours is dealt with. Oh, I'd like to throw some lead at that hombre. Just for practice. <laughs> Mag's bark is worse than her bite, Miss Fleming. <laughs> I'm beginning to find that out. That must be Tonto now. We have plenty of news, Kimasabi. What is it, Tonto? Me watch at Far Wai Ranch. Redhead man, right way. Come back later. Talk to girl's cousin. Me listen at the window. Yes? What did you hear? They think girl dead. Me find out they planned Stampede to kill her, so cousin own ranch. I guessed as much. Oh, I can hardly believe Ned would do such a thing. Oh, wait, Miss Fleming. What else, Tonto? They have argument. Girl's cousin shoots Slim. So Ned Gillis murdered the foreman, huh? Huh. Ah, ranch hands come back. Gillis tell him Slim tried to steal ranch money and let him shoot Slim in self-defense. Do they believe his story? Huh. Ah. Miss Fleming, a cousin of yours will go to any lengths now. He tried to kill you and he has killed the foreman, Slim. Oh, why did I ever come here? What am I going to do? No, stay here a while longer. Come with me, Tonto. Ah, uh, me come. Take care of Miss Fleming, Meg. I'm riding to the bar wide. I have a talk with that cousin of hers. Oh, I do hope you'll be careful. <laughs> oh, you don't have to do no hoping for him, Mary. That low-down cousin of yours is a critter what's going to need it. <laughs> Ranger and Tonto pulled up in a clump of trees a short distance from the Bar Y ranch house. Tonto dismounted, and like a shadow in the growing dust, made his way toward one of the windows. Soon he returned to report to the masked man. Kimasabi. Yes. Girl's cousin alone. Good. Steady, Silver. Uh, what do now? Steady, big fella. <laughs> you stay here. I'm going in. Uh uh-uh. You be watching. Watch that window. If something happens, be ready to send Silver over there. Ah. Uh. That man like rattlesnake, Kimosabi. I've dealt with rattlesnakes before. Adios. Adios. Don't make a move, Gillis. What? Get your hands up. Yes, man. Put your guns on that table. Put them there quick. All right. There they are. What do you want? And much money here. I didn't come here for money. Sit down. Well, what did you come for? To ask you some questions. And before I leave, I'm going to have the correct answers. Too bad about what happened to Miss Mary. Slim told me this morning she was right pretty. Yeah, I saw her when she came last night. Say, what do you make out about Slim? You and him was good friends, wasn't you? Yeah, Slim was my best friend, I guess. Can't figure out what got into him. Must have gone plumb loco to go stealing ranch money like Gillis said he did. If that's what he done, you can't blame Gillis for shooting him. And since Slim drawed first, Gillis had to shoot in self-defense, like he said. I uh, guess so, but... Hey... Wait. What's the matter? Shh. Look, through that window there. A masked outlaw's got a gun on Gillis. Go to the bunkhouse and get the boys. I'll sneak open the door there and get the drop on them. Hurry up. Right. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't been away from the ranch all day. I happen to know that you did leave here, Gillis. You're covered, stranger. Get your paws into the air pronto and don't turn around. Good work, you talk. Come take his guns. I got this gun right in your back, outlaw. Now, I'll just relieve you of them oh. guns. You're... Oh, my shin! He kicked back at me. Now, get him. Drop that gun, Gillis. Oh, my head! Don't let him get away. He's going for the window. Plug the critter. Man, 
plumped through the window. Who was it? What happened? He plugged the boss's gun hand. The sneak kicked my shins when I wasn't looking. Had him covered from behind, too. Yeah, too bad he didn't break your leg, you dumb coyote. Get to your horses, boys, and follow him. He can't go very far. That's the hombre who started the stampede to kill my cousin Mary. And get my horse, too, you Utah. I'm riding with the boys. I just can't wait till I come face to face with that sneaking outlaw again. You mean you purposely led them here? Yes. They should be along any minute. Now, you go in the other room and wait there until I call you. All right. Oh, I'm just itching to see that murdering polecat stick his head in the door. I've been needing some gun practice. No, Mag. We'll do this my way. Don't draw your guns on them. Oh, well, it's your party, masked man. I'll hold back since you tell me to. Good. Hello. Uh, Stand across the room, over there where you can keep an eye on everything. What are you aiming to do, mister? When they come to the door, Mag, you open it so I'll get the drop on them. Men come out, King Osavi. I hear them. Get ready now and be careful. Open up there! All right, Mag. Let them in. Well, what are you all coming here for? Where's that fellow with the mask? We trailed him here. Look, what's that engine doing here? Probably the other one. We trailed two from the ranch. Now, just take it easy, boys. That engine ain't doing you no harm. We'll discuss that Indian later, old woman. Right now, I want to know where the masked man is. Tell me you're out. right here beside you, Gillis. You're all covered. Masked, all right. Look at them guns. I ain't aiming to mix with that fellow. Otto, watch them all. Uh, me watch them. Bag, take their guns. I sure will. I ain't forgetting this hombre called me old woman. Give me them guns, you. When you get them all, just drop them on the table there. I got them. Good. Move over there, all of you. Bag, right. please close the door. You can't get away with this, stranger. Hello, Quiet. Get away. Now, Gillis, you and I will continue our conversation which your friend here interrupted over at the ranch. <laughs> you can't make me talk to you. What's this all about, anyway? Today, somebody purposely started that stampede, as you all know. Sure, we know. And you're the one who started it. I won't bother denying that right now. He admits it. He's to blame about Miss Mary. If he didn't have them guns... Oh, wait. Them. Gillis, why did you take your cousin Mary Fleming to Cragstone Pass? Tell her to wait there for you when you knew that the boys were driving the herd that way. That's a lie. Boys here know I never left the ranch this morning. Sure, he was here all the time. Mary wanted to go watch. She must have ridden into the pass and you stampeded those cattle and they caught up with her. We found her bronc trampled. How does a masked man know so much? Stop. I'm not through yet. You say you never left the ranch, huh, Gillis? That's what I said. And look at this spur. Is it yours? Mine? Well, is it yours or isn't it? It's yours, all right, Gillis. You only got one arm. That's right. Hey, Gillis, hey, where'd you get that spur? Near the place from which you shot at the herd. But... Well, I tell you, I didn't leave the ranch today. I know. He picked that spur up at the ranch house a while ago and he held me up. Yeah. You still say you never left the ranch, huh? Miss Fleming. Jumping Jupiter. It's Miss Mary. She ain't dead at all. Yeah, sure. Mary. I thought you that... thought I was dead, just as you planned. What is this? Tell them, Miss Fleming. Cousin Ned and Slim took me to the pass today, and Ned told me to wait there. That spur was found right after the stampede. I saw it then. No, no, no. Listen here, Mary. It's, it's all a mistake. Everything the masked man says is true. Ned Gillis tried to kill me by starting that stampede. He hoped to get my share of the Bar Y Ranch. If Slim was here, he could tell us if all this is true. That's why he's not here. Gillis shot Slim in cold blood. Because he knew too much. Was that Gillis, you dirty low-down coyote? I've been having a feeling something was wrong when you said you shot Slim in self-defense. Slim didn't have no guns on him when we took him from the ranch house. That's right, he didn't. Slim never had a chance. Let's string up the dirty killer. Yeah, Hold on. it, men. The law will deal with this killer. You're not taking me. I'll get one of those guns. Get him, fellow. Oh, you got him and you not get away. All right, men. You don't need any further proof. Now on, you'll have a new boss at the bar wire. Yeah, and look at what a boss we got. <laughs> oh, I think we'll all get along all right. Take this man to Marston City and turn him over to the sheriff, men. Uh, come on, cowboys. Get that stinkweed out of my house. Come on, come on. 
Oh, now that it's all over, I feel sort of weak in the knees. Well, you sure had one exciting day and no mistake. Uh, there they go. Good riddance to that ornery rattlesnake. <laughs> oh, oh, I sure was aching to shoot off his rattles. <laughs> oh, I wish I had your courage. Well, it's time for me to go home, but before I go, I want... Well, Meg, huh? where did the mess man go? Oh, he's got a way of disappearing when his job's done. Oh, well, that must be the masked man and the Indian. Wait, come back. Oh, oh, he's gone. Yep, he's gone all right. But I wanted to see him just once more. Oh, he's wonderful. Now, don't go hankering for the masked man, Mary. If you gotta have something in your heart, put this there. The knowing that you got a real true friend if ever you're in trouble. The Lone Ranger himself. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated.